today we continue with our class of Halachas of Brachas, the class number 13, Friday afternoon. Okay. <clears throat> so we start this Sefer Chofitz Chaim, uh, Big Tabik Toyal, uh, relationships. So it's a different topic, new topic. Page two, uh, 210. <clears throat> Breaking up harmful uh, friendship. Uh, another form of constructive speech is that which is prevent prevents or breaks up relationship that is harmful to at least one of the partners. It is correct to suggest uh, that someone uh, distance himself from a person or persons who may have negative influence upon him. So a person does not know and uh, but these are uh, not, not good people, basically not or absorbent people. So you, you can suggest that he should stay away. Right? I, I did uh, this today, early on today. Right? to someone. <clears throat> uh, similarly, it is proper to inform a, a parent that someone may have uh, may be having negative influence on a child. So maybe an, another child or uh, maybe, maybe not, not child himself, but if he would go to, to, to his friend's house and see like how the things are in the house, uh, he, he, he could get the wrong impression basically. All uh, preconditions must be, of course, uh, be fulfilled, including verification of the facts uh, and constructive intent. Okay, as we said before, all these conditions, so you're not holding grudge that, uh, against that person. So you, you're not going to <clears throat> overstate the facts and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, if the information is not firsthand, it may be nevertheless be conveyed, provided that it's clearly been uh, represented as a second-hand information. So if it's uh, you, you are not there, you do not know 100%, but you heard from someone, reliable people, so you, have, you must say, say it explicitly. Don't present it as a fact. With regard to the um, requirements of accuracy of the, of the information, the Hofisheim suggests that exaggeration may be permissible if there is the only way to convince the person <clears throat> or parent to end uh, that relationship. So it's one, I would say it's one of the few examples that uh, we can exaggerate. Well, one of the seven conditions that we, we cannot exaggerate. But here to, to stop this relationship that might be harmful. And like some, sometimes I, I will say, like I, 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 I will tell a person, uh, I try, try to warn and I say whatever I said, and that person, so what? And then I explain and say, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's bad. So, and then a person would not get un, un, unless you exaggerate. Okay, but you, you must be careful with the exaggeration. The Hofit Sam adds that it is imperative to explain why conveying the information does not uh, constitute speaking Russian Haram, right? especially when speaking to a child. Okay, so of course, a child is, uh, I mean, uh, there's a lot of Russian Haram that does not uh, change, like, and you were talking to an adult or child, doesn't make any difference. Okay, so we stop here. So continue with our class of Lachas uh, and Brachas. And um, we're on a very interesting topic, which is bread exempts, right? So many, many of the bread exempts other, other foods. <clears throat> so I'm on the page 88 uh, and section D. So it says uh, instances in which this uh, dessert food are not exempt. I, I'm sorry, I exempt. I exempt. So before that, we said that they're not exempt. Now we go into cases where I are exempt. Although the fruit and other dessert type foods usually do require a separate bracha, if they're eaten as an integral part of the meal, they do not require separate bracha, right? Uh, the following are cases of the fruit eaten as a part of the meal. Number one, fruit eaten uh, as the only main course. As, as yeah, the only main course. If fruit is a serve, um, serve as the only main course, it is considered meal type food and does not require separate bracha. For example, a meal uh, cons consisting of uh, bread and butter, fruit platter, beverage, uh, beverage and dessert. Right? Since the fruit platter is the main course of the meal, we, uh, we regard the fruit as the meal, meal food uh, meal food, rather than the dessert, uh, the dessert or snack type food. 
And no additional bracha is required. So, I mean, uh, we, I think we spoke about it before. If that's what you, you have, that's your breakfast. You have blueberries for breakfast, or, uh, uh, blue, blueberries for breakfast. You have uh, half a bagel, let's say, and uh, coffee. All right, so uh, this blueberry, it's 100%, it's uh, part of your breakfast. Right. Some Rishonim ruled that uh, even when uh, f uh, fruit is served uh, as the only main uh, course, a separate bracha is required. However, even according to this view, if one starts eating the fruit with bread, he is not required to make to make a separate bracha. Okay, so but um, that's that's a, okay. Let, let's finish. We explain. Even uh, if he if his intention is to subsequently eat the fruit without bread, nevertheless, since the fruit is the only main course, and uh, it was eaten initially with bread, it is considered meal type food and exempt from birchas by, by her, birchas hamotzi. Let me read the last sentence again, and we explain. Even if uh, he, uh, if his intention is subsequently eat fruit without bread, so he, he had the uh, first fruit together with bread. Now, let's say he finished his half a bagel, so now he wants to do uh, only blueberries. Right? Nevertheless, since the fruit is the only main course, and it was eaten initially with bread, it is considered meal type food uh, and is exempt by the Chas Hamotzi. Okay, so ba basically. Um, I'm not sure what, it, what it, I don't I don't see a very big difference between these two opinions. But basically, according to one opinion, I mean it's uh, it's it's more more straightforward. Meaning what? Meaning that uh, it's uh, his only main course and is included in Birchas Hamotzi, right? And second opinion, they said that maybe it does not cover by Birchas Hamotzi, right? But so but if he eats uh, together and then whatever left over. He eats separately whatever leftover food he eats separately. They said there is no problem. I think uh, I mean uh, the, the bottom line. Bottom line is the same. That we can eat uh, fruit with bread and bread with cover. Okay, number two. Fruit eaten is the only <clears throat> only uh, of the fruit eaten as one of the courses. One of the courses. Interesting, right? A fruit is not. Uh, if fruit is not eaten as only main course, but rather is one of the other courses of the meal, it is not considered meal type food and requires its own bracha. So, okay, so let's see. However, if the fruit is eaten together with bread, a separate bracha is not required. Okay, so it's uh, some, I think uh, there is that uh, some, uh, what do you call it, like uh, fruit soup. So, okay, yeah, go ahead. Right, but, well, so let's say I have an appetizer, okay, let's have bread, I have an appetizer, then my main course is fruit, okay? So, and that, uh, yeah, so basically like that, and so I don't make a bracha on the fruit, since it's the main course, but... Uh, okay, well, start, start again, what, uh, what about this appetizer? Why, why, why do we need appetizer in this example? Can you explain it? I'm saying we need an appetizer since it's not the only food. If it was the only food, I understand it's to fill me up. It's 100% part of the suya. I'm saying over here, it's so, uh, what's it called? Like there are other courses in the meal. I'm uh, giving you an example of the other courses. I'm asking if over here, okay, still it's my main course, but I have other courses. Do the other courses make it not uh, make me have to say a bracha? Okay, so that's, uh, that's exactly, I mean, we, we just started this section. So let's, let, let's see what, what he says. I, I thought that over here it's talking about something different where it's just one of the courses and not the main course. I'm asking where it is it, the main course. If, if it's in the, the main course, that was previous section. It, it is covered 100%. Uh, but I'm it, pretty sure that there are two opinions, but go ahead, yeah. I'm pretty sure that previous section was talking about when it's the only thing you're going to eat, not the main course, no? I mean, was, uh, no, no, since the fruit is the main course, that's what it said, actually. Even if his intention is subsequent to eat fruit without, I'm, I'm on uh, page 90, from, from, from the top. Even if his intention is subsequent to eat fruit without bread, nevertheless, since the fruit is his only main course, mm -hmm. it was eaten initially with bread. So, I mean, uh, even though I, I mean, uh, this is a little stricter opinion, but even uh, according to the stricter opinion, 
if he started with this bread. So, I mean, the main course is that the only food is, uh, I think it's all synonyms. I mean, I think it's the same mm -hmm. thing. No? Understood. So now, now, now we go into to, to second, I mean, the second question that, that, that you ask if there are other, other courses. So let's uh, let's let's do from the beginning. So we're gonna lose the the point. Okay, from the beginning. If root is the is the, is only eaten as as the only main course, the only main course, but if root is not eaten, apologies, if root is not eaten as the only main course, so many there are other courses, but rather as one of the other courses of the meal, it is not considered a meal type food. And required uh, its own bracha. So I mean, uh, maybe some appetizers, maybe between this meat and that meat, they uh, they serve a pineapple. I don't know. Just saying, right? Uh, however, if the fruit is eaten together with bread, separate bracha is not required. Okay. So let's see. Let's continue, and uh, we'll see. There is a dispute among the poskim as to how much of the fruit must be eaten with bread in order to exam, be exempt from Birchaz Hamotze. Uh -huh. Most of us him rule that since the fruit is being eaten as one of the courses of the meal, it is sufficient to start eating the fruit with the bread and to finish eating the fruit with the bread. Even though one does not intend uh, to eat all the fruits with the bread. There is a view, however, that each bite of the fruit must be eaten together with the bread in order to consider the fruit to be exempt with the bread. Okay, so all, as we can see, all of this uh, uh, situation that, uh, that, they offer, uh, that they discuss, it's, I would say it's very difficult. Okay, so let's finish uh, and we explain. The Paschim advised, therefore, that one should first make the appropriate blessing on a fruit and eat some of the fruit without bread. Afterwards, he may uh, continue to eat uh, the fruit, either with, uh, with or without bread. So I think that's uh, <laughs> that's that's the only solution, that the last one, because this uh, this is a solution that they offer. I, I don't like me personally. I don't I don't see them very practical because it's too difficult to remember. Right? I mean you. You want to enjoy the meal, so they say. As the, the, the more lenient ones, they say you, you start eating fruit with the bread, and you finish with the bread, and you do you do whatever you want to do with the meal. That's okay. So, but you have to remember the finish with the bread. And the second opinion is more stringent. He said, no, no, no. Actually, each bite of the fruit has, has to be with the bread. So, I mean, it's easier to say the blessing, right? So, the the, the bottom line, the, the solution is. Uh, so you, you make a, bl a blessing on a fruit separately, right? Because it's it's not the only course, as we said before, it's not the only course. Uh, and then uh, and then continue eating, and then you eat bread whenever you want. But uh, don't eat uh, uh, for 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 the first time. Do not eat uh, a fruit with a bread. Bread with a fruit. Okay. Uh, anyway. uh, does this also apply? In regards to let's say other desserts, desserts like ice cream or no? Um, the first opinion. See, ice cream. Uh, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I. Uh, I don't see how ice cream can be in like uh, one of the courses. I understand if you if you said that the, the ice cream could be a main 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 course or the only course. I I, I would understand. So he has a few slices of bread. And he has ice cream. Okay, I understand that. Uh, that that's all he has. But but here, I mean, uh, between uh, fish and soup, uh, somebody would have ice cream, fruit, uh, fruit salad, like uh, for appetizers and stuff like that. I would un understand. But fish and uh, between fish and soup, uh, no, but I I I don't think so. Mm. And, and, and unless some crazy kids, that's what they want. So I can't follow the opinion that I have a few bites of bread with the ice cream, then I can have the middle without. Or then have the rest with. I mean, it's not. I, it, it, I don't see how is it practical. I see fruits. People do eat fruits like uh, one, one of the courses. It is true. So they they they, they do cantaloupe all of these things. I don't know they they, they explain it. Uh, it helps the digestion between this meat and that meat. 
all, all of these uh, things, right? So it, it is a, it is common knowledge. So some people they would follow that uh, that practice, but nobody ice cream. It's nobody eats ice cream in the end of the uh, in the middle of the day. So uh, I'll I'll give you a practical example. I think it is now some people. They do it because let's say they have no candy next to them and they want to follow Reb Moshe and so they don't want to make a shackle because Reb Moshe says it's like a liquid and so I won't have to make a shackle on liquid because it's not counted as a separate suda. Okay? okay. So in this case, but they still want to follow all opinions though, you know, those who say shackle, those who don't say shackle. So what do they do? They, uh, they might eat the whole thing with bread if they don't have candy. So I'm saying maybe they don't have to eat the whole thing with bread. Maybe they just have to eat the start with bread and the end with bread. That's that's too much. I I I, I would say that like um, if like if if we go by by, by the second opinion, eat every, every bite of ice cream with a really little bread. It's it's like a suffering. Like uh, you 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 turn your yourself to, to a monster. You it's it's like crazy. That's too much. That's too much. To 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 eat in the beginning with the bread, end of the bread. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, uh, since uh, if if he has no other solution, there is no problem whatsoever to say blessing on the ice cream, right? Then go by uh, by whoever uh, by other other paskin. Mm -hmm. you know, don't 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 do this busy bread because people will forget to to, to remember to start with the bread. Okay, maybe you remember to start with the bread, but finish with the bread. With the bread, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm trying like uh, when when. Um, when I have the, the this is the the right way, like where, where it's it's my my personal opinion. Even even though there are other solutions, I am trying like to follow the most straightforward uh, approach, the the easiest one to remember and the easiest one to follow. And I said some sometimes when, when there, there is no problem, as you said, there is other piece of candy, piece of sugar, I don't know, like uh, sugar cube, uh, like something that you can say uh, blessing on. There is no problem, but if there is none. So just go easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so next one is number three. Fruit eaten for dessert um, entirely with bread. If fruit is eaten for dessert, here's our situation, right? Uh, fruit eaten with, uh, for, for dessert, but one eats it entirely with bread, it is uh, becomes tofel to the bread and is exempt. For example, if one eats uh, apple sauce or sliced uh, fruit with bread, the bracha on uh, on the bread exempts the apple sauce or or fruit. Unlike fruit which is eaten uh, for satiation, uh, fruit uh, which is eaten for for dessert is not exempt unless it is uh, eaten entirely with bread. Even if um, if only one piece of the fruit was subsequently eaten without bread, the bracha is required. So I say no, it's it's not well, what you ask. It's a, it's a different situation. So basically, they, they say okay. So now, now he he finished his meal and he wants to eat this apple sauce, right? I think apple sauce is a good example. So and uh, this apple sauce, he want to eat entirely with bread. So with every bite, uh, with every, every spoon of uh, of apple sauce, he would put a little piece of bread, right, on, on, in, in, into the spoon. So they say, okay, in this case, he does not need to say a blessing on uh, uh, on apple sauce because it's secondary to uh, like subordinate, not secondary, it's subordinate to the bread. But how is it practical? I don't know. It's 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 like a, you, you 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 turn this meal into something like not realistic. People usually don't do that, right? So yeah. Uh, going back to what we said that the place can say that we should make on fruit before, then have the suda, then make, you know, not have to make a brach on the fruit, right? My question is in regards to uh, Mazinus kind of in this manner, right? So basically what the place can advise is with Mazinus also do the same thing, right? To say the bracha before, follow all the opinions. Those who say you do say it, uh, you know, after the suda. Okay. You... Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So my question is like this. Uh, is that allowed? If I take something before, right, that's like noodles, right, that would be covered by the bracha made on bread, okay, and uh, in order to have the dessert, or do I have to have something like dessert that wouldn't be covered by the bread, because maybe it's a bracha levatal if I make it on noodles or something that are covered by the bread. 
it's a good uh, good question. Let's uh, let's leave it aside. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but, but it's, it's a very good question. If I can make a brach or noodles in uh, before before the bread meal, right, and have in mind to so it would cover the dessert, I I I would say no, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, so let's let's leave it aside for now. Um, okay, so last uh, last paragraph with it, that we said, unlike fruit, which is eaten for satiation. So for, for satiation, there is no problem. Uh, it's it's included uh, in, in a blessing for bread. Fruit, which is eaten as uh, for dessert, is not exempt unless uh, it is eaten entirely with bread. Even if um, if only one piece of the fruit is subsequently eaten without bread, the bracha is required. So basically, I mean, the, the straightforward way of, of doing things. So if it's a dessert, if it's the end of the meal, and you have other foods, so just make a blessing of this fruit, and that's it. That's uh, straightforward. Okay, continue. Number four. Uh, fruit prepared for the use of in meal. Okay. Fruit cooked or made uh, into a dish, which is commonly served at a meal, uh, as a meal type, does not require separate bracha. For example, fruit soup served as one of the courses of the meal is uh, is, a, is considered meal meal type food and is exam. I'm not sure. I I, I read the, in the books about this uh, uh, fruit soup. I never I never tried it. I have no idea what. It is. However, the fruit uh, fruit uh, which are cooked um, for the use of the dessert, for example, stewed plums uh, or apple sauce, require bracha even though they are cooked. Okay, so it's 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 not about cooking or not cooking, right? As it, as I say, so if if it uh, was cooked as, as a meal type food, as a, uh, this uh, fruit soup, that's one story. So it is covered. But here, just because this uh, um, the, the fruit cooked, right, and they, he eats it, the dessert does not change the, the status. Okay. Uh, Rabbi, what's going to be the difference between a dessert and uh, a normal, uh, let's say, dish, making it into a dish? What's the difference? Oh, yeah, well, what is that? What would be the example? To tell me what okay, so let's say I make a, a fruit plate, I put peanut butter on there, so on and so forth, right? Now, okay, if I give it there as an appetizer, okay, people understand the appetizer, it looks like a dish, right? I prepared it nice, okay, but it could also be a dessert very easily. So I'm saying, how do we know the difference between Oh, oh no, no, no. thank you for example, because I, I, I misunderstood what you meant. Okay, beautiful. So it, it it's up to you if you start uh, eat, eating before, before the meal, so it's appetizer. If after the meal, so it's a dessert. So, I mean, you, you, you're right 100%. You, it, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, like uh, neutral. Whatever you you decide to eat, that uh, that's um, make it appetizer or dessert. Mm -hmm. So okay. as a understood. So as a general rule, then if I eat fruit at the start of the meal, I don't make a brachla. In the start of the meal, what what do you mean? Before the meal? Be before the main course. Be and before no, for, for whatever the main course. Before 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 the. Hamotzi? After the Hamotzi. No, no. If you, no, no, no. If you, if you do, if you did Hamotzi and you have salad and fish and other things, right? So that this, uh, this fruit is not part of the main course. Okay, so you, this... You is... must uh, make a separate blessing. Or that, that's what you mean or no? Uh, so we'll, we'll go like this. This fruit dish that I just told you about. Okay, I mean fruit very nice and fancy, so on and so yes, forth, right? Yes, yes. If I have it after the hamaytzi as the first yes. dish, right? Yes, yes. So I yes. won't have to make a bracha according to what. No, no, no. You, 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 you would have to make a bracha. But how? So what's the difference between a dish and a dessert? Because I just gave you something that could be a dish. No, it's no dish. They, they, when, 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 the, when they say dish, the example that uh, they gave is is of um, fruit soup. So soup, soup is a soup. You can have I don't know. Vegetable soup, potato soup, or you can can have I don't know tomato soup or this uh, uh, this soup, this um, fruit soup. So soup is a different. No, I, I the way I understand. No, nobody eats foods uh, uh, soup as a dessert, mm -hmm. right? So, so that, that's part of the meal. Okay, it's a, a little different ingredients. Not, not what we we would expect, 
uh, there is no I don't know, potatoes and zucchinis in there, but uh, only grapes and I don't know what else goes into this soup, mm -hmm. right? But uh, but uh, but it's a main main part of the main course. I'm a, one, one, one of the courses. Part of, but uh, but uh, this uh, this uh, platter that you said, it's for sure. It's it, it's not included unless they say if you eat it. So you you, you take a piece of bread, you take. Uh, a slice of apple, right, uh, and then you put the one on top of the other, and you, that's that's the one that's solution. So, so I'll give you this example. Okay, so if I have cake, right, with your uh, cake, basically make it the same way as kugel. You put it in the oven, so I don't make a bracha on kugel, right, because kugel is obviously a meal type food. So cake should also be a meal type food. So I don't have to make a bracha. No, on cake. What is the connection? I, I don't. I'm, I'm saying just like soup. We said a soup is made in the same way, and fruit soup. Okay. So I'm saying over here with kugel. Okay, kugel I put in the oven. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's, it's not that it's, it's made. That, I mean, you, you cannot compare. The, the, the zonus is miso, the, the zonus is always like a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a dessert. So people eat it, eat it as snack or dessert, let's say, right? But soup, no, nobody like a, eats soup at the end of the meal. You, you finish uh, your seven course meal, you finish your cake, and now guess what? You're going to eat soup. Nobody does it. And you understand, soup is, is uh, well, one of the first courses that the people serve. So just because they were uh, cooked in, in an oven does not make them the same. And... Okay, continue. Okay, second. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, uh, Rabbi, if I blend my fruit, I don't have to make a broth on it, right? If there are no pieces. Uh, I, th I think you should. It's what it looks like. A, it's like a drink, no? At that point. So okay. So so uh, not really a pu puree, right? Puree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if if it's puree, you, you still have to make a blessing. So what blessing you were going to to make? It's a different story. So if you, if you still, as you said, if you still see the pieces of whatever, what what is it, and you know exactly what what like I don't know. You, you see that it's it's apricot. The, you know exactly what it said, like texture and stuff like that. So you, you make a barrel case, but if you have no idea, it's blended so good, so you have no idea. So you say shechako, but you still say the blessing. See, I, I so it's not, uh, puree is 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 not liquid. It's not. Mm -hmm. See, so I had a problem like this. Let's say I take a potato, right? And then I'm a good sculptor. I make it look exactly like a cauliflower. Okay. At this point, I can't tell if it looks like a cauliflower or if it looks like a potato. So do I make a shackle on it? It's definitely still well, a whole piece of potato. For, for, for cauliflower and potato, you, you say you make the same blessing, no? Uh, uh, sure, but let's say we make different blessings on it. Let's say. Bad example, but let's say one's a hadam and one's a eight. Okay, so, so if, if he's not sure, what is it? So he can make shakal, yeah? Mm. Oh, no, but I'm saying the person, uh, okay, we'll go instead of a cauliflower, an apple, okay? You know, he took, a, he cut an apple into a cauliflower, okay? He took, a, you know, a piece made it look like a cauliflower. So now we have hadam and haids. The thing I'm saying is, he knows which piece it is since he himself cut it, right? He knows this is an apple, this exactly, is a cauliflower. Exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I'm saying the pieces look identical. So I'm saying even though they look identical. No, but if you, if, if you know what, what is it, then there is no problem. Mm -hmm. So you, you just uh, go, go according to your knowledge. Uh -huh. So in that case, what if the if there are, what's it called? If it's a pureed and I don't see any bits, but I know which food it came out of, I should also exactly. make it, no? Yes, yes, yeah, that, that's exactly what, what we said about uh, mashed potato, mm -hmm. right? Mashed potato, you, like if it's mashed very good, or you you you, you buy this instant potato from, uh, from, from the powder, right? You put powder, into in, into the, the, the whatever in, into into a vessel and then then you add hot water right boil boil and water and then then uh, you will cover with with a with a lid and now uh, you have uh, yourself uh, you have yourself uh, mashed potato three minutes later mm -hmm. so, so even like though there is no pieces there is no pieces whatsoever but it since it looks like mashed potato and you you can recognize uh, very simply. You have uh, the same texture, so you you, you make uh, you make uh, dama, even though it was reconstituted. Mm -hmm. So with kugel, I should be doing the same thing, no? What 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 what? The what is dama. So it depends. Let's uh, let's leave uh, kugel aside. It's uh, the whole uh, the different story. So if, if there are a lot of uh, 
um, what is it, uh, flower. So you say uh, misogynist on a kugel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but uh, kugel is not such an easy thing. So let's leave it aside and uh, try to eat it in, in a bread meal. Um, unless you know exactly what goes into that. Okay, so continue. Appet number five, appetizers. A, uh, fruit eaten as a first course, for example, grapefruit. Okay. Many poskim rule that uh, fruit eaten as an appetizer, there is uh, to whet uh, the appetite, is considered a meal type food, and is therefore exempt by birchas hamotze. So let's say uh, F, right? Uh, note F. Technically, to start the digestive uh, juices flowing. Okay, that means the appetizer. Okay. Uh, some poskim rule that the fruit or other non meal type foods, even when eaten as appetizer, are not exempt. The minkaka or lam, generally accepted practice, is not to make bracha on the items which are definitely eaten as appetizers. Okay, so let's see number, uh, note G. The poskim advised that if possible, one should make a bracha and eat less than the kizais of a fruit before starting the meal. With intent to cover the fruit, um, the fruit which will uh, subsequently be eaten during the meal. Alternatively, one should make bracha on another fruit that is on which uh, uh, is not served as appetizer and had intention to cover this appetizer. Okay, so let's try to, to, to understand what, uh, what they're saying here. So they say, if, uh, if fruit is uh, eaten as appetizer, meaning to, to start like that is, I don't know, this, uh, what is it, or how do you put it? The uh, digestive juice is flowing, correct. So maybe the person have a problem, and so some people that cannot eat, whatever, they have problems eating, all right. So, so they, they need some kind of appetizer. Uh, so it's according to many paskim, they say, it's considered meal type food and is therefore exempt by Virchas Kamotz. So I don't know, like for, for me, it's a little too much. Why? But I don't know. So, but, but, but basically, it's since if there is such opinion, so you can follow this opinion, right? On one hand. On the other hand, other, other paskim say no. So as, as usually, we try and always trying to go the middle, middle way, right? According to this opinion and that opinion. So, and others say no, it's not covered. Uh, they, even though we, we know it's appetizing, it's not covered by birchas hamotze. So they, they say, um, um, try to do to, to make a blessing on something else, basically, right? On some other fruit that uh, is not appetizer, like I don't know, maybe tan, tangerine or, or something, right? And um, and and uh, and keep in mind that it should be should should include this grapefruit. Okay. Continue. Grapefruit, when served as a, as a first course, is often eaten uh, to whet uh, the appetite, in which case bracha would not be required. Okay. Uh, often fruits such as melon or a fruit cocktail uh, is served as a first course and um, identified as appetizer. Samples give reason that since the melon uh, fruit cocktail and the like do not uh, do not in actuality wet the appetite or start the juices flowing, but rather are eaten to uh, for, uh, sati sati satiate in first courses. A bracha would be required. Okay, so that, that's uh, actually that's what uh, what David asked us before, right? So if uh, so, he just made, made the blessing on the fruit or on on the bread. Now he wants to eat this fruit cocktail. This uh, melons and uh, all these uh, beautiful things. So of course, uh, you, 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 you start eating for satiation, 100% in this case. So make a blessing. Other poskim rule that the fruit, such a melon of, uh, or fruit cocktail, which is a sort as appetizers are, uh, like any other appetizer, exempt with birchas hamotze. Because of the uncertainty, eating the fruit without bracha would be questionable. It is therefore advisable follow a uh, recommendation of the paskin and make the bracha before washing the bread with intention to cover. Okay, that, that's what we said before. 
uh, the fruit that you be eaten during the meal. So let, let's read the commentary and explain. This recommendation I made uh, in a different case in, uh, in order to bypass similar uncertainty. So they, they say, okay. So this melon uh, and fruit cocktail is an appetizer. It doesn't, is not appetizer that helps with uh, this uh, digestive uh, juices start uh, flowing. Yes, no, some say yes, some say no. So if yes, so it's appetizer, so it's included or not, it's not included. So basically they say uh, in another solution, just start eating before, uh, before blessing on the bread and keep in mind that I wanna continue during, uh, during the meal, but just make sure that you eat less than kizais basically. I, they did not say that, but uh, I mean, that's obvious. They eat less than kizais. Otherwise, you would uh, you would be required to say uh, uh, the end blessing, right? I mean, lo logically. So don't, don't put yourself in the to, like try try to fix uh, one one situation and put yourself in a, even the more, more difficult situation. So let's read the, the last. Uh, I'm on page ninety three in the, on the bottom. It is therefore advisable to follow the recommendation of the poskim and make bracha before washing for the bread. That's that's what we're talking about. His intention to cover uh, the fruit that be eaten during the meal. So I, I think maybe it's more practical uh, practical solution. The piece of fruit uh, to be eaten before the meal should be uh, smaller than kazai. Oh, okay, no, no, this is smaller than kazai. So what um, complications with with regard to 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 right? Because if you say if you ate more more than kazai, you would need uh, bracha achrana. So if you if you try to do it during the meal, right, or I don't know before the, the bread, so it's useless. So during the meal, it's useless again. I mean, uh, all uh, uh, all all fruit that, that you're going to eat after that uh, are not not covered. Alternatively, Fan has already made the birchas hamotzi. He could uh, take the fruit um, definitely not. He could take a fruit definitely not being used as an appetizer. Right, for uh, there is a flat, fresh apple, and make bracha, and have intention to cover appetizers as well. Okay, I think if uh, that's so basically a apple never covered, right? That's that's not appetizer. That's uh, that's a totally like independent item, right? So they say, okay, take an apple, take a bite. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what he's going to take uh, to do with this apple after he takes this bite. I'm not sure if he's going to throw out. I mean, I don't know. So, um, but it's also a solution. So what is the, what is the best solution? The best solution, I would say, don't, don't eat these appetizers, right? Or, or eat them before the meal and only a little, so it's less than, uh, less than kizais. Okay, that's uh, from, from this, uh, that's what I derived. Okay, next one, B, whiskey used as an appetizer. According to many Paskim, whiskey is considered an appetizer and milk hakoilam, general accepted practice, is not to make a bracha on a whiskey cons consumed during the meal, since appetizers are exempt by the chaschamotz. Okay. Even if one drinks whiskey to toast uh, Elohim during the meal, uh, the accepted price, uh, practice is not to make a new bracha. Okay. So let's read commentary and we explain. However, if one drinks whiskey after he was uh, finished eating, since it is not being used as an appetizer, uh, bracha is required. <laughs> so I, I would say yes, it is true. Like. Um, Whiskey is appetizers, but you know, on the other hand, I think it's a liquid. It, it, it's in a, in the category of liquid. So if you, um, of course, it is liquid that it is not needed for for the food, right? I mean, you, it's it's not like a water or uh, apple juice or whatever some some tea that uh, that you need uh, to, to drink some like uh, something like to to help you to swallow food. That's that's a different story. Here you're. In, you don't need this whiskey, so it's uh, it's an appetizer, or it's like, uh, or I, I don't know what is it. Basically, if you if you make the blessing on on the wine, it should cover the whiskey, or do do drink some whatever you drink some liquid, 
right? And uh, I think that whiskey would be covered as well. I think unless they, they uh, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, continue. Number six, eaten as a tofu to a meal type food. When dessert food is eaten as a tofu, so I mean, meaning as subordinate, right? Uh, to a meal type food, for example, apple sauce eaten uh, to enhance potato latkes, it is exempt from the bracha. So that, that's a good example, right? So it's a uh, secondary, subordinate to whatever we eat. So it's exempt from the bracha. The potato latkes are exempt since they are usually eaten as a part of the meal to satiate, right? The apple sauce becomes uh, subservient, subservient to the latkes, which in turn are covered by the bracha on the bread. So, I mean, uh, that's, I, I think it's a classic example, right? When uh, this uh, apple sauce is covered, even though it's a the, the dessert type, but if, if you eat the apple sauce by itself, for sure it's going to be, uh, it's going to recover separate blessing. But since you eat with the latkes and, uh, a lot, uh, and um, they covered by blessing the latkes, the latkes covered by the blessing on the bread, so there is no problem. Similarly, in some um, recipes which contain fruits such as Pol Polynesian chicken, uh, consisting of pineapple and chicken, okay? The fruit is a tofel and a, a separate raka is not required. So, I mean, I, I don't know. What, what did they do? Like, uh, they, I mean, it look, looks like they, they cooked it together, uh, chicken with, uh, with uh, pineapple, so then it is included. Okay, so let's see how much is, not too much, but okay, so let's do one more time. Oh, one more, one more. It's very interesting. That's what we asked before. Cake, pies, and cetera. Cakes serve dual function. Like the fruit or candy, cakes are often eaten as a dessert or snack in order to satiate one's uh, desire for sweet. So that's clear, this, okay, that's clear. Unlike fruit, um, unlike fruits or candies, however, cakes are often eaten to satiate one's appetite, which is uh, true. Accordingly, if cake is eaten to, uh, for a dessert, technically a bracha should be required. Alternately, when a cake is eaten for satiation, a bracha is not required, okay. Um, there is, however, another consideration which uh, mitigates against making bracha on the cakes eaten during the meal. This consideration is that uh, if particular type of a cake could halakhically cla cla uh, classified as bread, it would not require the separate bracha, even if it's eaten as a dessert. Okay. In order to understand, so okay, so let, let, let's let's try let's stop here and try to understand. So now we got to our favorite topic, which is uh, which is uh, cakes and pies, right? So the the question again, whether or not we will make a blessing uh, when it's when we eat these cakes and not a dessert as as a part part of the meal. So one more time, same as fruit. If it's that, that that's all you have. I have one piece of bread, two pieces of bread, and you have cake and you have uh, whatever else you have. And that, that's, you, you need this uh, cake for satiation. For sure, it's part of your meal and it's covered by bread. There is no, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about here when, um, when uh, okay, so when, when he, he, he eats at the dessert, they say, okay, technically you would require bracha because you eat as a, for a sweet taste, not, not because you're still hungry. That's uh, that's the second case. So now we're talking about the third case when um, um, when uh, <clears throat> uh, this one. Um, alternative, when a cake is eaten for satiation, bracha is not required. Okay. So okay, we said that no, this is not the case. I apologize. There is, however, another consideration which is mitigates uh, against making a bracha on the cakes eaten during the meal. Okay, that's uh, that's the case. This consideration is um, this consideration is that if a particular type of cake could be halakhically classed as a bread, right, the bread a bread type uh, cakes, right, um, it would not require a separate bracha, even if it's eaten as a dessert. So let's see. So if this bread 
if this uh, k could uh, could classify it as a bread, so you would need uh, to, to, to to make a separate bracha. What are we talking about? In order to understand this halacha, it is necessary to understand the halachic, uh, uh, halachically, what halachically constitutes as a bread. This is uh, explained in the addendum number two. Okay. Um, okay, so for now we're going to continue. We're not going to go to addendum number two because I think it's a long story. Even if a person, even if a product, um, def definitely not classes of bread, it, um, if it is being eaten for to satiate, the bracha is not required. For example, apple pie is according to all views not classed as a bread. However, often be, uh, people are um, uh, people are. Uh, partially hungry uh, at the conclusion of the, their meal and eat pie, pie as um, for additional satiation as well. As for, um, as well as for, for satiation as well as for their dessert uh, quality. In which case it would not require bracha. So if, you, as, as we said, if you're still hungry and you, you wanna eat uh, not, not for the sweet taste, uh, but, but because you're still hungry, uh, well, it was not satiated, so you don't don't make a blessing, even though it's not a uh, bread type food for sure. Um, okay, so not, not bread type food. It's a it's a meaning mizoin. So mizoin is some some something that uh, Mishnah Bura said, Ashish Shachon said, some something that have pockets, right? So like uh, some some is a filling or some like flat, flat and dry, so like crackers. Right. Or it was, uh, I don't know, boiled. And I don't know, like, a, for example, fr a fried with a, with a lot of uh, oil. It's also mizonis, but, but it's not bread. Um, the Paschim advised that since in many cases making bracha for cake eaten during uh, the meal is questionable, one should have specific intent when making hamotzi to exempt any cake he might subsequently eat during the meal. Okay, that's, uh, well, we can stop here, but I think that that's, uh, that's one, one of the solutions that, that some, uh, and the reason that people uh, people use uh, when they don't make a blessing on the cake, but they, they have to, as, as it says here, have specific intention not to, uh, not uh, that when making blessing on hamotzi, that also include all of the cakes that they subsequently eat. But I think cakes only a bread type. I, that, that's what I think. I mean, it does not say it here, but uh, okay. So if he did not have intention, so it's not included. So I mean, many people do not have any intention, period. So how this misonous is included, I don't know. Okay, we we'll stop here. Any questions? Uh, for Lechem Mishnah, do you need challah specifically or just two whole pieces of bread? Meaning two whole, like, let's say I have loaves, loaves, two loaves of bread. Yeah, two, two loaves, so two, uh, two uh, what is it, uh, uh, rolls, well, whatever you have, two, 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 two pitas, two, two matzahs, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. But preferably the most, the, the most proper way to do that is, uh, is what is it, with a hole. When it's whole completely. So if if it's uh, uh, in in many cases, if you have matzah, whole matzah in at home, so you can use it the second one. So you, you can do like a mission on two, and then uh, you cut on a piece of bread, and then ne ne next meal you have against two uh, again two, and use uh, like with matzah. Actually, I apologize. Take take it back. So even if you have the three. Uh, Three three rolls. There is still, still no problem. This, uh, the the third meal you do with matzah, basically, because on the third meal you also need uh, two uh, two rolls, two two breads. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? So with the refrigerator, I don't have to worry about all the electronics. I just have to worry about the light. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm I mean, uh, but uh, what 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 about electronics? It's sometimes it changes when you open. 
I, I, I don't know. Right. I, I, I don't know if something changes if you open it. So that's why I ask if it matters in the first place. I mean, if, if for, for example, I'm it's just speculation. I maybe yes, maybe no. So if, if you open the door of refrigerator and it has like there is some fancy fancy refrigerator. We were in a store help, helping somebody to pick a refrigerator. Uh, one was like $8,000. I don't know. Like, uh, and so it has like a big screen. I don't know what, what, what is on this screen, but uh, I mean, uh, if it's only news, I understand. Well, I understand. But it might be also like uh, to tell you that, that you, your door is open, like in a car. Right in a car, you have the sign, the door is open. Maybe it also has. <laughs> I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So if it has all the signs, that's the problem. But check this refrigerator, maybe it has Shabbos more, if it's not very old. So let's say I just have a mini refrigerator with no light. Well, that, that's no problem, sir. So. Okay, got it. That's uh, not, not the problem, sir. So. Do I have to go through my Shabbos food and see if all the tapes and all the, you know, packaging is, uh, what's it called, ripped already, not to rip it on Shabbos? Uh, yes, yes, it's pro pro proper to do that, yes. Okay. Just cut it open, that's it. So, I mean, you, you don't have to re remove the, the lid, but, but tapes, yes, carry. Yeah. Okay. What else? That's it? Israel, you want to? Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. One thing is, what's it called? For, for dips, for example, right? You know how they have that, you take off the lid, then they have the seal, right? The seal, the plastic seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're allowed to take that off on Shabbos? You're allowed to take it off on Shabbos, but... Um, if you, if you can cut like a round, like a, take it before Shabbos, it would be the most preferable way, yes. Uh -huh. And what should one do if one has soda cans, he wants to use them on Shabbos, but he doesn't want to keep them open in the refrigerator and wait for them for Shabbos? But what, what's, what's wrong if you, if you open before Shabbos? What, 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 what is going to happen? I don't know. I just don't want I don't want it that way. Let's, uh, let's say I'm uh, superstitious for whatever reason. So you you don't want to to open the the cup on on uh, before Shabbos. You want to open on Shabbos. That's what Correct. you said. Or or maybe there's a yeah sure. Can I just poke a hole into it, or that's also yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Uh huh. But uh, that, that's I mean uh, I I would say that with uh, with uh, apple juice there is no problem, but with uh, <laughs> with uh, with the soda it could be I don't know it, it could be like uh, I don't know, start spilling with like all the gas coming all out and. Yeah, yeah. So try. I mean, I I would say try before Shabbos. Try try to to do do uh, this way with one bottle. I mean, you you can spill on on yourself. I don't know what is what is going to go. So it could, could end with disaster. Understood. Okay. So that that's what I always do. Test test before Shabbos. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. So thank you very much. Good Shabbos. And until Sunday night, same time. Bizrat Hashem. Thank you. Okay. תודה <laughs> <laughs> הוא היהודי הזה, הוא היה מיליונר, סגר את כל הביזנס, אמר אני משקיע פה בעולמה של תורה. איפה הוא גר? בפלורידה. פלורידה, איפה זה פלורידה? באמריקה. כן, ליד. אנחנו שם עכשיו הולכים להקים קהילה ספרדית. קהילה ספרדית גדולה. תעביר לו מה שבירכתי אותו. כן, קהילה ספרדית גדולה.